Dr. Bickman's lab. Two, leaky gut. Fructose and vegetable oils cause the problems. Fructose increases LPS movement from the guts into the blood. And there's one study that we have linked here in the show notes, and it's entitled, it's in the Journal of Hepatology, which is a very good journal. And it was actually published just a few months ago. Fructose promotes leaky gut endotoxemia. Endotoxemia is just a nice word for saying we have a lot of pathogens moving into the blood and liver fibrosis. And there's more to it than that. Uh, the title gets a lot longer. This is published from a Korean group, again, in the Journal of Hepatology. And what they found in this study, that with fructose exposure on the cells or fructose consumption in the rodents, that the tight junctions became leaky. And now they had more of this movement of pathogen from the intestines and then into the bloodstream. Now, so that, that's kind of the, sim the simple side of it. And there, there actually is a lot, there are many more studies that highlight this. So fructose is a known cause of, of um, pathogen movement or leaky gut, moving from the guts into the bloodstream. And that might be why fructose contributes so readily to the development of liver problems, not only fatty liver disease, but also steatohepatitis, so inflammation of the liver and fibrosis of the liver, because it's not because the fructose, we typically think of fructose being relevant because it's um, coming to the liver and the liver has to metabolize it and it turns a lot of it into fat. That can certainly happen. But when we couple that with this information that fructose is all, also directly making the guts more leaky and exposing the liver more to these uh, pro-inflammatory pathogens, well, then it just really is compounding the problem. It's adding fuel to the fire. When it comes to fats, it's a little more complicated. Um, and, and there are different studies that have looked at this in different ways. One study that I want to highlight was, was very direct. They had these animals eating diets that were macronutrient matched, calorie matched, but it differed in the composition of the fats they were eating. One group of animals, and this is a study entitled Gut Mucosal Proteins and Bacteriome are Shaped by the Saturation Index of Dietary Lipids. This is published in the journal Nutrients, a good journal, in 2019. And what they noted, in fact, I'll just read this section in the abstract. So I'm quoting, the corn oil diet rich in omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids increased the potential for pathobiont survival, so these harmful pathogens, and invasion in an inflamed, oxidized, and damaged gut, while saturated fatty acids, the demons of nutrition, promoted, uh, that was my addition there, okay. saturated fatty acids promoted compensatory inflammatory responses involved in tissue healing. So to sum that up, the diets that were high in polyunsaturated fatty acids, omega-6, so corn oil, that was promoting not only um, damage, physical damage to the intestines, but and maybe as a result of that, actual enhancing the survival of harmful bacteria and then allowing them to leak in. In stark contrast, the saturated fats, while also appearing to promote an inflammatory response, was actually promoting an inflammatory response that was gearing the intestines for healing. It was enhanced because inflammation is intended to solve a problem. That's why we can never just wage outright war on inflammation. There's very much two sides to it. It serves a purpose. And in the case of the diet that was high in the milk fats, the saturated fats, it was in fact enhancing the integrity um, of the intestines. So uh, uh, an inflame, an inflame, a measured inflammation that was actually um, enhancing um, intestinal recovery. Fructose increases LPS movement from the intestines into the blood. A study in the Journal of Hepatology, 2019. Fructose promotes leaky gut, endotoxemia, and liver fibrosis. done on rats and cells, found fructose caused gut lining junctions to become leaky. More movement of pathogens from the intestines into the bloodstream. Dr. Bickman says there are many more similar studies. Fructose is known to speed the movement of pathogens from the intestines into the bloodstream. It contributes so much to liver problems.
fatty liver disease, steatohepatitis, liver inflammation, fibrosis of the liver. Not only due to excess fructose into the liver creating fat, but also due to fructose causing leaky gut. So exposing the liver more to pro-inflammatory pathogens. Fats, meaning vegetable and seed oils, not animal fats. A study, 2019. Two groups with matched micronutrients. They differed in the types of fats used. From the abstract, the corn oil diet rich in omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids increase the potential for pathobionic survival and invasion in an inflamed, oxidized, and damaged gut, while saturated fatty acids promoted compensatory inflammatory responses involved in tissue healing. The results of the study, polyunsaturated fatty acids, which are omega-6, and in this case, corn oil, promoted damage in the intestines, enhanced the survival of harmful bacteria, allowing them to leak into the body. Further results, they found that saturated fats, while appearing to promote inflammation, actually were promoting inflammatory responses that were gearing the intestines for healing. Dr. Bickman reminds us, inflammation, when healthy, promotes healing and recovery. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.